Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 23rd of December. So your Christmas horoscope for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Now, of course, late last week, the Sun made its way into the sign of Capricorn, which it does at this time of the year, every year. But what makes this a particularly special week is the Sun is going to be combining with Jupiter, the planet of growth. And on Thursday, we have a solar eclipse in conjunction with Jupiter, and both are also angling brilliantly to Uranus, the planet of surprises, the planet of innovation in the sign of Taurus. So this can be quite a week. It can be a week where we can start to crystallize ideas that we've had in a more tangible way, or perhaps we're gonna bring in more innovation and fresh approaches. But I do feel, because of the Capricornian energy, this could be a time when we manifest something that's potentially been really limited through the energy of Saturn over the last couple of years, but principally over the last six or seven months as it's inched closer to Pluto. Now, of course, they are, as this month comes to a close, getting much, much tighter together. In fact, it's going to be one degree by the end of this week and so in some ways that is going to be uh, potentially popping the rivets on some issues but I think Jupiter could be a game changer here it's bringing a sense of expansion okay it's in full in the sign of Capricorn but I think what it does is it moderates the restrictive energies of Saturn because Jupiter is expansive but the Capricorn energy makes Jupiter more sensible so we get an earthier approach to what we want to expand upon so depending on where this conjunction on this solar eclipse occurs in your particular zodiac sign then that's where the action is going to be over the next six months on the back of this lunation now also uh, this week, we're going to see a semi-sextile between Mercury and Mars. And on Christmas Day itself, Mercury is going to be combining with the Moon in Sagittarius. So that's an interesting combination, isn't it? That should make us all jolly and upbeat. It's going to be important not to sort of be too blurty. We need to think before we speak with that combination. But also, uh, I feel that Venus is square to Uranus, Venus in Aquarius on Monday and Tuesday, could see for some lucky folks a, a surprise attraction, a, a clinch under the mistletoe, or it could mean that something that's been kept quiet in a relationship could explode to the surface and there could be some kind of irritation on the better end of the scale. At the worst end of the scale, it could be that someone wants to break out of a relationship, obviously at the worst point of the whole year, if it just isn't working for them anymore. So we do need to be mindful of that. And then as the week draws to a close, we do have Mercury moving on Sunday into the sign of Capricorn too. And of course, because of the angle it's also going to fall to Uranus this gives you gives us a great opportunity to be quite inventive when we're thinking about those new year's resolutions but I want to wish you a very happy Christmas and please enjoy the rest of your forecast your specific forecast Aries suggests that although it's quite late in the year there still can be an awesome time for you to make an impact now this could be in a social context where you take the lead or perhaps there is going to be some news professionally which sees you punching through and achieving some kind, kind of goal or aim that you've been working studiously towards per perhaps as long as the last two years. If it has been a little bit of a battle in terms of getting the recognition or praise or respect that you feel that you're worthy of, this week's solar eclipse on Thursday, on Boxing Day, certainly gives you a great sense of renewal of your inner self-belief and confidence. As you make your New Year's resolutions for 2020, 
you're sure to be thinking big. You want to achieve something much more substantive than where you've been in the past. The key is not trying too hard, but equally being as open-minded and as flexible as possible. Because of the role of Uranus in your sector of resources, a chance could come up, but it may require you to flex a little bit in order for you to seize the opportunity. So that may mean working a different shift pattern or working in a fresh environment or taking on a role that's a bit different from what you've done before. But on Christmas Day itself, it wouldn't be an entire surprise if you felt like going somewhere completely different, spending time with people that really stimulate you, perhaps not too many responsibilities in some ways, although if you are very focused on work, you could find yourself having some really excellent conversations with people who've got experience and knowledge that they can share with you in a social setting, but all this can be very positive for your future. Now, it is true that on Christmas Eve and also Monday, that Venus, the planet of love, in the friendliest part of your situation, is in a right angle to, uh, to Uranus. What I would say to you is don't try too hard about a relationship that hasn't worked. If you're trying to push it, it could be counterproductive and leave you feeling exposed. But equally, someone could get in touch that you're not expecting that can absolutely delight you. I'd like to wish you a very happy Christmas. Good luck and goodbye for now. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.